from the Baltimore Longitudinal Study of Aging to the Ideal Study. What are the secrets of uh, health aging? Thank you for the question. As you can imagine, you're not the first one asking me for that. There are many people that want to know what they can do to improve uh, their quality of life and health with aging. Uh, at the National Institute of Aging, we started to answer this question when, in 1957, Nathan Schock designed the Baltimore Longitudinal Study of Aging. So we follow longitudinally 3,000 individuals just to understand what are the characteristics that later on are associated with unhealthy longevity. And uh, to make a very long story short, uh, those people that have a strong positive attitude toward aging, especially in young middle age, and those who maintain uh, themselves uh, you know, physically active without uh, doing strengthening exercise of excessive exercise, but just uh, you know, walking regularly, doing normal physical activity, and those who maintain their weight constant over time, they don't gain weight or slightly gain weight or very little over time, seems to be those that live the longest and the healthiest. Of course, there are many, many possible mechanisms for this effect, uh, and, and, and uh, we are working on understanding the biological mechanisms so we can transform this observation into recommendation for the public at large. And uh, can a Mediterranean diet uh, be an uh, ingredient of this uh, recipe? Yes. Uh, of course, I think there is something in the Mediterranean diet that appears to be really effective. I mean, the small evidence in the literature of the positive effect of diet on healthy aging and cardiovascular health, uh, it's mostly based on the Mediterranean diet uh, and to some extent to, you know, fish oil and omega-3 fatty acids. However, we really don't know what the mechanisms are underneath uh, this uh, magic effect of the Mediterranean diet. Uh, and so we need to go forward and extend this observation to longer time, a larger population, and varying the various ingredients of the Mediterranean diet and doing very sophisticated biological measure to see what are the mechanisms so that we can extend this observation, understand it, uh, and even more refine the target for our recommendation for dietary intervention to the public at large again.